Hello everyone, this is East Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So unfortunately, I got my intel on Arena, and we're just we're not, we're not gonna try to uh, stay in tier 21. It's out of my reach, unfortunately. Above 3800s, what I've heard. So, Ripperonies to the streak. Um, unfortunate as well because. Legendary Ulm bonus, uh, so that, that, that's how it be sometimes. But there's not too many replays this week, so we can just get straight into it. And pretty much all I get out of my team so far is that it's pretty hot garbage. <laughs> um, when it's not dark season. A lot of people either bring like chip damage or they have gale force or... Whole smoke, witchy one, you name it. It seems like everyone who faces me has something. <laughs> um, but you know, it all comes down to execution, as you'll see again this week. Some people just didn't execute, but like here, for example, you just get pretty easy chip on Celeb, so it makes it a lot easier. Um, but of course, Panic Manor helping us out a bit, so. Uh, Vantage on Faye here, but she doesn't have a close counter or anything, so that's a rip for them. And at this point, our team's too ripped to do anything meaningful. Um, Hardy bearing slash fire sweep always memeing Celeth in some way. We don't have Wings of Mercy, but I don't know. Not sure if I want to have Wings of Mercy on Sylvia because it does screw up some other combos that my team has, but at the same time, I feel like it'd probably be worth it. It would probably be worth it, honestly. And here we have some, like, especially during uh, Astra Anima, people can just use Bride Fiorum pretty much and have a good day, but this, this Aversa here. <laughs> Not too shabby. I don't know if I showed merges for the other one. I, I don't really care at this point. Just the usual shenanigans. Here we have someone using a vantage unit and a super semi support oriented Aversa. I don't know. It's 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 like half player phase, but then there's other stuff that no way shouldn't be there. Now I gotta walk a bit. Ten out of ten commentary. Alright, there we go. So yeah, nothing too special here. They're just getting set up, but you know, they are taking a little while to get set up here. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. So they go in for the kill here, and you know, I pull smoke. But, uh... Um... Well, so this is Raft, so that's some big damage, and uh... Sonya still has her special up of hardy bearing, so, um, yeah, not good. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> uh, that was not too great for them there. Like, the main threat, honestly, was just Sonya with hardy bearing and a glacies. Didn't, you, you can never have too many chill speeds, I'm telling you. This is <laughs> not entirely sure what the plan is there. Maybe they goofed on skill sets or whatnot. Or maybe they don't use skill sets, but they definitely uh, like their chill speed. Like, I know Olivia and Naga come with it, so that makes sense, but do you really need another chill speed in your seal slot? Do you really? <laughs> I don't know. That, that was a little weird. But as usual, people just pick off, uh, soak this and leave. That's a pretty common tactic. It works. Nothing wrong with that. Here they leave their Roy to get panic ployed. Not sure what their play was there, but they would have been fine if they didn't do that. Um, not sure why they had to do that. And then they do this, which is really weird. Why would you do that? And then why would you do that? <laughs> I don't know, not great execution at all. Sylvia actually able to pick up a kill, amazing. Celeph's in vantage range, we have some green units. Naga's not making it out alive. Ripperonies. 
But for the most part, I am seeing that a lot of people are struggling to win deathless. I mean, the good players with the right units and stuff, they'll still shred me, but a lot of people are dropping single units, and that's something different compared to the older defense, if I recall correctly. My, my, my memory might be biased, but here they're, well, Micaiah being a bonus unit means she lives things she's not supposed to, so we get that scenario there, kind of awkward. And Iceberg here for the kill, and everyone going downtown. It's already not the greatest situation for them. They're definitely going to back out here. Makes perfect sense. Here's kind of a place where Alm doesn't double, which is kind of awkward. I'm kind of starting to think that plus speed may, may or may not have been the best idea of vengeance. But that's because my uh, Sylvia does not have more HP than self right now. I did get some more merges recently. Here, Sotha's casually living somehow. Don't ask how that's how that happened. Not rigged at all. <laughs> so they we're able to pick up an extra kill there, which is pretty nice. Four kill game, can't really ask for much more. You don't really need the full sweep at all. If anything, it kind of helps you out because if you're one of those people that likes to rematch, if you win matches, you don't have the option to rematch, of course, so... You know, getting four kill games definitely can be useful. But, uh... This is my plan as well, upgrading Bolt Tower. I'm kind of just waiting to see what happens, if there's any reason why I shouldn't do it. Haven't figured, haven't found any scenario yet, but... Looks like they're just gonna bait with self here. Perfectly fine. I mean, he's gonna take a little bit of damage, but not really. So, yeah, we're not we're not gonna be doing that much damage to him. They do be that way sometimes. And at this point, it's like, yeah, you can pretty much, they have the bolt tower chip damage. I don't have any healing. Definitely also need to invest in healing tower. There's so many things to invest in, um, but yeah, at this point, we have Sonya with her hardy bearing glaciers, not able to kill Ripperonis. Makaya barely not able to kill more Ripperonis. <laughs> I mean, it's like if you had more mergers, you probably could have done it, but it be that way in Ether Raid's defense. You, you just never have enough stats at all. We go for the chip damage here, trying to get the last Ether structure. But you know, of course. We have that heavy trap there to rig it. But they have a ranged unit, so it doesn't matter. But we have the heavy trap there to just solid play that by that person. I don't know if they calced it out though. A one HP clutch is a little, a little close. Um, wait a second, he had tear fing. I, I wasn't paying attention. Tear fing might have procced. It, it probably didn't. I think he was below 50%. So I think it was just my units being bad. <laughs> but here we have the classic player going in for the test the bolt trap right away strategy, which, you know, it, in some cases it's good, but I, I don't think it was a good idea for them. But they didn't get their damage on their Fey or whatnot. So, you know, not completely terrible. Here they got some chip damage. Yeah, nothing too special so far. Taking a while to get set up here, but they do go for the hit and run play, looks like. Uh, not quite running low. <laughs> that, that's not quite running away, but... Yeah, mm -hmm. Ripperonis. Reinhardt doesn't even one-shot off the special. What is this? Here we get the Wombo Combo with Ground Orders. They didn't see that coming, I'm guessing. They thought they were going to bait Brave Micaiah, but no, it was I, Sonya. Ah, <laughs> uh, so, rip. Not much that happening there. Do we have another decent looking team. Kind of just holding out, waiting till the next Astro Mythic Hero is hopefully marginally better. Granted, you know, I could definitely use some dragon slaying capabilities using Divine Fang. If I run into, like, actually good Halloween murders or Thunes or whatnot with my offense team, 
that's basically mono green. It's not a great time. I make it work, but it's not great. I definitely did not play very well in offense this week. I just completely goofed up today's match. Like I did a double match, and it was against a Flower Emblem team. It was a decent team, but it honestly, I could have beat it really easily. So it was, it was really, it was really sad that I uh, goofed on that. But here, Soth is gonna take out the some of the threats here, and unfortunately, with Pulse Smoke, the things are just not going to go well for us. We're just not able to kill this Fallen Core in here, so it's a pretty easy sweep for them at this point. Although, again, they dropped one unit, which is a pretty common theme. So that's nice, I guess. If I can build a team that consists... I'm thinking for my Astra Anima season team, since I don't have... I probably won't be getting any Astra... I mean, any Anima Mythic Heroes anytime soon. I'm thinking about doing a semi-stall team, still based off of infantry pulse, but I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, thinking Selif with Sylvia, Azama, Bike, you can kind of get the idea, Brave Ike, not Bike. <laughs> some people don't, some, some people don't process Bike as Brave Ike, so you just gotta put that out there. So that kind of core. Not sure what specials I would want to run. Uh, I'm feeling Miracle, honestly. <laughs> but the thing is, chip damage is the big problem. So, you know, Duma would actually be not too bad um, to run two of with that kind of comp. It wouldn't be too great of a defense. It would just be a troll defense, pretty much. If you don't have the kill power, you're doomed kind of deal. But it's like... I don't know. I, I feel like... It would just be too easy, but you know, you don't know until you try it, and there's not too much investment. It's mostly just me debating whether I should use, uh, whatchamacallit, whether I should use plus attack or plus res on Brave Ike. The thing is, like, with how it is right now, he'll have 20 base res if I go for plus attack, which, uh, let's be real. Is not that great. <laughs> um, I already lost my place. I'm pretty sure we already went over this one. This person just got absolutely memed on by the turn limit. So I think it's this match next. Yeah. All right. So I don't know. Well, I'm still thinking about it. And of course, I actually need an Astra season team. To use not Nino. Um, maybe I could use like Tharja. I don't know. Her problem is Res and Astra Season against the super stacked folks. It's a nightmare. Let me just, let me just put that straight up because Duma giving attack and then Ophelia, a red unit. Like you can't do it, but it's not the most. Uh, Ideal matchup. <laughs> Let's just put that out there. So they're taking a while to set up, but you know, with what they're running, it doesn't take that long to dismantle my team at all. So here they set up some damage. I think they have some Wings of Mercy plays, so that's a thing for them. And I think at this point, they're ready to go. They have all the user structures. Turn six, you might think, oh, they're running out of time. Really? They have all the time in the world. Two turns is way more than enough to pick up some kills here. So he's going to get rid of the debuff on him so you can get the one shot there. Keep getting that chip damage off with Savage Blow. And so, yeah, any ex well-executed Gale Force team is just going to wreck me really hard. But, of course, like all things, we are able to pick up a kill, which is uh, kind of a classic thing that's been going on. So yeah, being able to pick up those single kills is definitely nice, but ideally, I'd want to make it two. But one's pretty good for me, because that means either you could take out their tank or you snipe someone. And for me, that's pretty much as good as it's going to get against the 
the best players, the better players, whatever you want to call them. It, there's because it's like sure I could have infantry pulls, but I have to get super creative with making a team that would be able to deal with like pull smoke and such. Cause like Sonya in the corner, her damage output is not that great. Granted, I don't have that many merges on her, of course, because she's not that easy to merge. I'm kind of thinking, though, about changing my defense here, because a lot of people are doing this uh, right flank strategy where they like break all the structures, and so they have a lot of space there. Kind of thinking about moving my structures, but then it always becomes the problem of, then where do you move them to? <laughs> Uh, there's always some other problem. It's great. It's like if I ideally want to keep bright shrine stuff up, but yeah, I, I don't know. We're gonna get another kill again. Definitely not the recurring theme <laughs> going on here. And they're just gonna back up. I don't know what their game. Uh, I mean, Solith can definitely just get murdered. Yeah, he's just gonna get murdered easy murder for them because it's Naga so she's blue and all that good stuff uh, unfortunately here they're not able to pick up the last ether structure feels derp man but I'm not sure if they needed it they might have but now we go into this team using the classic noe strategy like, it works to a degree, and you'll see here, my team has no DPS at all. Or DPT. Damage per turn. I don't know, damage per phase? <laughs> what would you even call it? But my team has no damage output, let's be real. We got, like, one special that actually might do something. Sirius doesn't actually do that much. No, he's not able to kill, but it's like, we can't capitalize on that, so it's kind of awkward. Now Sonya doesn't have ground orders, so it's super awkward. We actually do damage to Noe, showing how great Noe is, Kappa. At this point, they're barely juking the um, actual field buffs and stuff. Sonya actually able to double, which is uh, 10 out of 10. Panic Manor would do again. Aversa not able to do anything. Because Makai actually has some decent res, surprisingly. But looks like they're just going to use an AoE special to get the heck out of there. Except they missed the kill on Makai. Don't think they calc that out at all, so thanks for the extra kill. <laughs> Thank you very much, but that's going to be the... They're just going to surrender. They're pro probably just going to ladder there or whatever. That was just uh, not great for them. And there's probably going to be some other replay, but like last week, I'm probably not going to be able to get it on video. But, you know, it's an okay team. I'm not sure how well that Lightning Breath Vantage Glimmer Naga does for them, but... Uh, I guess in, like, fringe cases where you have to leave some of your units out, having the ability to... Bren that vantage kill might be useful, but stats wise not too great. Here they're just gonna initiate with Alm and well that bolt trap is definitely doing them favors. Some really weird stuff going on here with the AI, but that's how that's my potato defense in a nutshell. <laughs> they're too spooked about Celeph, so they're just gonna run. But we got ourselves a welcome back to another episode of Panic Manor. Sonya, of course, always wasting her glacies as she can't actually kill anything relevant. She always just picks off the units that we don't really care about, so it be that way. But Selif able to hang in there, but everyone else not gonna make it. Wings of Mercy there would have been not, wouldn't have helped, I don't think, because Vantage, of course. So. Sylvia actually able to pick up the kill. Amazing. And this now is just, nope. You're not killing two units in one turn, so that's the Ripperonies. But yeah, as I said, definitely played horrible on offense this week. I lucked out, and we're gonna. We're on the 
edge of tier 24. <laughs> uh, should not have ended this way, but it do be like that sometimes. It's just, oh my gosh. But yeah, hopefully next week. We'll see how next week goes. It's going to be a little weird. Uh, I definitely do like having double air though. So I might have to do the usual plus 130 team again, which is a derp. But you know, allegiance battles, blessing abuse, same deal. I don't feel like burning a blessing just to get a little more uh, stuff. Like 10 flowers is a big deal, especially as the weeks go on, but eh, I'm just kind of meh about it. So. And again, we're not going to be able to stay in tier 21 this week. Unfortunate, because it would have definitely been a guaranteed next two weeks. But it'd be like that sometimes. In Arena Assault, we should be fine, even though we got terrible RNG again. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, actually, no, yeah, this is Ether Ray's replays. It's not over yet. <laughs> we'll be back when the results come in. <laughs> I'm so mixed up in my brain right now. Alright, here we go. So, Garbo rank and Ether raids, but we still get top 6k, so that's something I guess. And it's armor school, so no one cares. There's some people that legitimately have max level schools, and I can definitely understand it, but it's like at the same time, I'd rather just use it on something else. I don't know, that's, that's probably just me, isn't it? Alrighty, it is water season, so you know what that means. I'm gonna go ham. <laughs> Anyways, allegiance battles, nothing too special. Just outside of top 1k like usual, and just a rip. Nothing we could do here, but maybe we can start up a new streak in two weeks. So we'll see, and I read insult again, not trying at all. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Eth Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye.